YouTube, it's your boy Barcode. I'm back with another video. We got a new patch. We got some buffs. We got some nerfs. I just noticed. Ah, oh, giggity. And I'm talking about Hackern. I'm gonna talk about Edicris, and I'm gonna talk about Urzag. I'm not gonna talk about Asrina because burns still suck. If you like the content, you like my videos, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Alright, so first and foremost, let's get this out of the way. Hakron is the biggest talk of it all, right? Is he still viable? Do we use the hero recall and recall him and get all the materials back? My answer is no. Hakron is still viable. He's still viable in PvP. It's just that his HP buff can be removed. And yeah, that's somewhat of a nerf. But there's other benefits from it as well. Now, can you do dungeons the same with Hakron? Can you do dungeons? Yes, you can. It really just depends on how you build them, or who you run it with, or the dungeon you bring it in. It just matters. Yeah, it, it, it's a nerf mainly for PvP, but for PvE in dungeons, I still don't have a problem at all. Like, I can run no healer, I can run Hakron, and it's totally fine. Yeah, the HP buff does get stripped sometimes. However, with this team here, I got Santis, I got Zatlux, Yolanda, and then there's Hakron. And Santis is on Revival. Hakron's on Revival. Those two never die. And I can still do Queen 14, no problem, auto 100%. Okay, it's it's no difference at all. The main thing about Hackern, which makes him so good, I mean, before it was both the HP buff and his trait, but really what it comes down to always is his defense trait, and it's super good and super OP, okay? And is, he's still good. He's still viable. Do not recall him. You, you will regret it, especially when new content comes. You're going to regret it. I guarantee it. Do not do it. Um, he's still viable, okay? Um, but yeah, and it, it, this even makes it more beneficial to put him on revival because now his defense trait does not go towards him, so he doesn't get his own self-defense buff, right? Uh, but everyone else does. Uh, his HP buff can be stripped. That's that's fine, whatever. Put some resistance on your team, okay? Like, it, it, this is, we're talking about end game, mid game, end game stuff here, right? But put resistance resistance on your guys like you won't get stripped it's it's not a big deal like just everybody jumps to conclusions so quickly like don't worry about hacker and do not recall him i mean i guarantee you like tons of people did and you're gonna regret it i mean it, yeah he's easy to be synthesized back up but it's just a pain in the butt to do it again right and what makes him really good now is his hp buff is a buff technically now so you can run ash uh 14 do a full revival team of hackron and he goes first he goes faster than natalia they get a buff and then she self attack buffs and does her thing that's all you need and then you can just go uh, optimize for uh the boss with the last two people you know it's 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 going to be okay okay and and it's still fine look i have no healer I have no healer. My HP buff got stripped multiple times. I'm halfway down on the queen, and my team is all alive still. Like, Hakron's good. There you go, okay? The whole team stays alive. Zatlux isn't even dead, and he's not even on revival. He's on a nuke build, and he still survives. Whenever you change things, there may be cons, but there's always pros to something else. Ash doesn't have a strip. And I think that's a lot of the problem is that people think now they can be stripped. It's just, he sucks. But there's places where you don't get stripped. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about our boy Edicris. I had Edicris built before the patch. And I've tested him out here. And honestly, I like the old Edicris better. Now, they're two different roles. Don't get me wrong. The new Edicris is your AoE stripper, buff stripper, get rid of the strip, get by strip, strip, mm -mm 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 -mm. Before he was like this half nuker, half like self-sustainable kind of hero, 
And now that he doesn't have his like invincibility for one, he's got an ability in effect for one turn, Whippy, but he he doesn't have his self attack boost. Unless you have a completely full setup for him, like something that gives him attack buff, something that gives bonus damage, something that gives him bonus turns. I'm sure there's videos out there, but it's like, you know, like Mary and Yolanda or whatever. Yeah, then he could be good. But honestly, what does Yolanda and Avira not bring besides an AoE strip? You could do all the same stuff and do more damage with Avira. I don't know, man. I, I like the old Edicris better, and no one even used them. As you saw in a previous video, I used him in Queen 14. Let's test him out and see how well he does with the buff stripping against Queen. The thing about him now is that he doesn't have a self-heal. And that self-heal is crazy good. I don't care what anybody says. So let's see if my team works now that I used before. And to use him on a Queen 12 team, you gotta have a little bit more speed to go before the adds and to go before Zatluck so Zatluck can do his thing without an attack buff. But he's really not like a damage dealer here. We're really just keeping him there for the, the strip for the Queen. But let's just see how this team does on Queen 14, comparing it to what it did pre-patch. Now the way I had this set up too was was 100%. So uh, if this fails, then this is because of the change. And and that's fine. We need more like AOE buff strippers, right? It, it, that's totally fine. I get it. Um, but I I don't know how to feel about it. Oh man, I miss Chris's heal. This sucks. I don't even think the strips are going to matter unless I put Edicris on Revival. Uh, then he's going to hit more like a Wet Noodle because he won't be on Avarice. Uh, so, I mean, this this Queen of 12 team, uh, no, Queen 14 team, which you could use in Queen 12 too, but uh, prior to patch, like, I don't think it's going to work now. Uh, the strips are cool, but he's not going to survive because he doesn't heal anymore. I, I just, I hate this. I hate it. I, I, I just like old Edicris better. I mean, it's whatever. I think this is my sad face. And the thing with Edicris too is like, yeah, his second skill will give him 50% uh, focus. But you need to build him still with focus. Because if you don't strip, then he's worthless. So this is how it was before. But with Edicris, he would stay alive pretty much the whole fight because he could heal himself. Uh, he would take the beam, so Hacker and Insantis would do his thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, with this, uh, Edicris died on the right elite because he can't heal himself. That means Hacker gets the stun beam. He can't stay alive. So now this team is not valid. You could probably blame it on Hacker, but I know what it is. It's because Edicris isn't alive the whole fight. Edicris having invincibility. Edicris doing the self heal. That's huge damage mitigation, and the damage isn't on Hakron. Hakron isn't stunned, then he can still do the HP buff, even though it gets stripped, yeah. It's probably a combination of the two, but I like old Edicris better. Where did I get that defense buff from? That's the question. I'm just going to do this skill again, because I want to see the... Wait, okay, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Edicris, defense up two. Okay, so that's either unintended or messed up. And that kind of changes things too, because that makes him worse. If he doesn't have a self-attack buff, then... Alright, let's see him remove buffs, like it, like it matters at this point anyway, but, like... So there's three buffs, they each have three buffs, like, I just, like... Okay, he removes one buff, and then an extra attack, an extra attack. He removed three buffs, so he's a great buff stripper. But you need him to build him with focus, so, like, is he better as a tank, just an AoE stripper? Just made to strip? I think so, especially if he really gets defense up. I just don't think, like, he's he's not a damage dealer anymore. I mean, he, he hit, like, a, he didn't hit the greatest anyway before, but he hit decent enough on average. I honestly don't see where I would use him anymore, where I wouldn't use a different type of buff stripper. There may be content in the future where, like, we need a lot of AoE buff strips or whatever, but the bonus turns by himself of having no support at all and having bonus turns. He uses the ultimate. He stripped once. He stripped twice. It's three strips. Just not not good in my opinion anymore as a damage dealer. So speaking of, we do have a new feature, Recall Hero, where you can recall any of the heroes that have been changed. And that's what we're going to do today. Now, just a note, if you used an Ascension Pot on a hero, you do get it back. So this is perfect. 
So this is what I used. Hopefully I get everything back like I should. I'm just gonna take a quick snap of that just in case you never know. So I'm gonna recall. Locked heroes can't be on recall. Unlock, yes. This hero is unlocked. Goodbye, my 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 grandpa wizard. Yeah. Now that we did that out of the way, guess what we're going to do today? I need to work on some glyphs. Anyway, Urzeg, six star. I got his ascension, so he grants one stack of block. So every time he attacks, I believe, he gets one stack of block. So each block reduces damage taken by 15%. So you can technically build him like a nuker, like a fast nuker, and just get multiple stacks of block. Add in like a Yolanda, so he gets bonus turns, bro. Now I don't have time to max the glyphs right now, but I do want to say just with like some recent testing on Urzeg, all his debuffs are great. His skill kit is great. The way he uses his second skill first to apply the increased damage taken debuff is huge. But I don't want to prematurely say that he's not the greatest. I think it's going to be situational. But before I release that kind of statement, I want to max him out with glyphs, really optimize his gear, and test him out in different places. I am going to want to try to use him in like some kind of queen speed run. And I'm hoping it's going to be like uh, something like Yolanda, Urzeg, Zatlux, and Santhus maybe. Not sure if I would survive that. Like I said, I really need to get him completely maxed out before I make that kind of judgment call. But his second skill really does impress me. Because there's not that many heroes that have that increased damage taken debuff. So time will tell. Oh, by the way, I summoned 3,000 limited summons on this limited summon to get Gangelo. And I didn't get crap. So that sucks. Now I feel like the Asrena buff is like, it's a good step in the right direction. But the problem is, is that Ignite doesn't do much damage. She has a high attack base stat, which is good. Oh, she's a really good AoE unit, I feel like. I'd put her just on like a straight nuke set. I don't know, just for an AoE damage dealer. But then if you, if you get Valeria, then you got Valeria. I don't know, I feel like she may be underrated as well. I'd like to see someone who has a maxed out Asrena. If you have one, let me know. I'll test it out. I mean, even same with Hugh. If you got a max out Hugh, let, let me know. Let me test it out for you. This is the free to play life. I don't I have all these heroes, right, man? But, I mean, he got, he got more damage modification based off speed. I think it's just with his basic, because, like, his second skill isn't based off of speed, and the third skill isn't... It's kind of based off of speed, but it's kind of more like if the enemy has lower speed than you. So, it's, like, really just his basic... I don't know, he's just got an ugly face though, I just don't like him. Alright, that's it for today's video. All I really want to do in this video is just go over Hacker mainly. Talk about my boy, my ex-boy now, Edicris. Edicris is gonna be good when the right content is out there. But really, there's just no point in needing an Edicris or the right team comp to need an Edicris. I'm gonna be building up Urzag and testing him soon. If you got a hue and a Serena, let me know. Play my videos and like my content. Sub. Like, ding, ding, a bell. See you in the next one. Peace.